Hello, my name is Gabby Partington and welcome to Pink Diamond, the show that digs deep into the pink, sheet and small cap markets to find diamonds in the rough. Today we're looking at a company that has caught the imagination of track star institutional investors. iBio, formerly known as iBio Pharma, is a Delaware-based biopharmaceutical company with a $535 million market cap that primarily focuses on developing vaccines and therapeutic proteins based upon its plant-derived iBio launch platform technology. The company's hydroponically grown green plants are used for the development and manufacture of proteins applicable to a range of disease agents, such as influenza, anthrax, the plague, as well as veterinary applications. Despite the COVID-19 disruption, it's been an interesting couple of months for the firm, with news that the IBM Watson Health had selected them to receive 18 months of use of the IBM Clinical Development Solution, free of charge. This came about as iBio is an eligible trial sponsor organisation that can contribute to efforts in the medical community to address the COVID-19 pandemic. Tom Isaac, co-chairman and CEO of iBio, noted that IBM's tech helps to support the rapid and efficient undertaking of clinical trials of their COVID-19 vaccine candidates. It also complements the firm's fast farming systems course speed, quality and scale-up advantages in the development of the vaccines and therapeutics. Earlier this year, at the apex of the initial outbreak in April, iBio announced the signing of two master services agreements and a memorandum of understanding with the Infectious Disease Research Institute in support of their SARS-CoV-2 virus light particle vaccine development. Under the MSAs, IDRI will support the preclinical development and provide clinical trial oversight, while iBio will provide process development and manufacturing services to IDRI as needed. Let's take a look at the financials. Annual sales came in at $2 million, but net income saw a $17 million loss. RBIO has a return on assets of negative 41.22%, which is comparable to the industry average of negative 41.13%. The firm's Petrosky F score is four, a neutral score indicating average health and profitability. The firm reported negative earnings for the last year, which makes the price to earnings ratio negative. RBIO also shows a decrease in revenue. In the last year, the revenue decreased by minus 0.08% and has been decreasing by negative 6.64% on average over the past five years. Earnings per share is another area of weakness. In the last year, the EPS decreased by minus 33.33%. When comparing its debt to equity ratio to average industry peers, RBIO is way less dependent on financing than its industry peers. This might appear a bit shaky overall, but it's not abnormal for this sector. Moving to the technicals, we can see that despite a pullback from the recent spike to $7.45 per share, a pennant formation is emerging, suggesting at least a retest of highs. If broken, the 2016 high at $8 will become the next level to test. As usual, make sure you do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. Stay safe and see you next week.